pop culture, that's right, the title. Today's top story. So after much speculation and anticipation, Netflix confirmed that season two of The Umbrella Company was on the way. Academy. Oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. What? I'm thinking of Resident Evil. Yeah. <laughs> the proverbial cat was out the bag when a pic of the cast on their UK and Ireland Instagram dropped. You know what? Uh, I like that first Umbrella Academy. I thought it was well done based on a popular comic book series that I did not know existed, yeah. but I did like what they did with the uh, show on Netflix. Very much so. I, like it again. I believe it was the, uh, the lead singer of the Chemical Brothers or something. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of the guy. But yeah, he was the career writer of it for Harvey. Nice. Uh, as usual, I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> <laughs> you should see it, man. It's pretty good. I'll watch it. <laughs> the writing was on the wall, but some fans are still surprised by the news the Freeform's Marvel's Cloak and Dagger was canceled. Wow. You know, yeah. we hate when Marvel shows get canceled. Especially yeah. such good characters, underrated characters as Cloak and Dagger. Yeah. Right. And Cloak and Dagger had two uh, pretty good seasons. Uh, it looked like they had a very definite um, role and direction that they were going with it. But... Like all of the other non Disney plus TV shows that are on Marvel. Right. It's all going the same way. Yeah. Two two seasons though. That's that sounds low. But never say never, it is very possible that Charlie Cox and Kristen Ritter's Daredevil and Jessica Jones will be back. Marvel wants to see Charlie Cox and Kristen Ritter resume their roles as Matt Murdock and Jessica Jones, respectively going forward in some form in the MCU. Hey, some good news for the MCU. Well, I, the, way, the way they're looking at it is uh, after the two-year agreement, you know, that you know that there's a two-year, uh, what do you call it, grace window or period or whatever. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's like a non-complete cause. I'm not quite sure what it is. But uh, when these, guys, these characters come back up, maybe that was the reason why they had pulled the plug on their show so soon because they knew – that the Disney Punch was going to launch this year, yeah. the next year, and then the following year, you can bring those characters back into the Disney Plus umbrella. I'm just hoping Daredevil gets a great movie. That's what I would like to yeah. see. Oh, yeah. Well, I you mean, didn't like the Ben Affleck? You didn't like the... I got nothing against Ben Affleck. I just thought the movie was terrible. And Electra was even worse. It really... Wow. Really, yeah. That was bad. Just a decent Daredevil movie, and I can die happy. Yeah, yeah. That's all JB wants, y'all. <laughs> this week's review, Watchmen Season 1, Episode 1, inspired some of the characters of DC's Comics Limited series of the same name, created by Alan Moore and Dave Gibson. Season Gibbons. Gibbons. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I can't oh. see you. <laughs> I, I, I can tell. You're a little short to be a stormtrooper. <laughs> I can't see this thing. Season one is created by Damon Lindelof of Lost Fame for HBO, starring Regina King. And I'm going to say the first five minute wait. Katie? I haven't seen it. No. Oh. <laughs> Come on, JD. I don't like The Watchmen. I hey. really don't like it. The first five minutes of this is the most, uh, for me, it was. It was so emotionally impacting. It yeah. was very good. It was well uh, choreographed. Drew me in off the jump, man. Yeah. It was really good. And the whole story, this world that they're building, I mean, I can't believe it. In 30 years, as Robert Redford as the president. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Yeah. Redford. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll tell you I, what, man. Was it depressing? No. Because uh, everything Alan Moore touches is depressing. Well, I mean, it makes yeah, you think. And the yeah. world is just such a horrible place in his mind. The, yeah. whole, the whole planet well, sucks. There's nothing redeeming. I'm not going to lie. That, that world is uh, horrible. That's why I, I get tired of it. It's just... Give man, it a shot. I'll give it a shot. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. Yeah, man. Season 1, episode 1, it just dropped last week. So give it a shot. It's worth it. Yeah, I mean... It, it, it has some very interesting concepts, and uh, I love tech and uh, technology, and then the ideas are just out of this world, man. It's really good stuff. But uh, this week, Ralphie D. recommends Double Dare. This is a, this is a movie released in 2004. It's a, a, actually a documentary. Um, it's a double-barreled, action-packed doc about the struggles of two stunt women in a male-dominated 
Tinseltown, how they try to stay working, stay thin, and stay sane. Uh, Zoe Bell is in this. As oh, well. I know. Yeah, she's really good. I mean, she has this natural charisma. She was great in Once Upon a Time and in Hollywood. Hollywood. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think she's good at everything. But, um, well, everything Tarantino. Uh, but uh, really good doc. I love documentaries and just watching the struggles and whatnot of stunt women in Hollywood. It, it, it really kind of opens your eyes to something you don't even think about. You know, all the stuff that they do and go through and the injuries and all that stuff. And... Uh, Really good stuff, man. But uh, I'm Ralphie D, and that's news to me. And I'm Cool Water Kurt, and I just wanted to say before we continue that last week on our channel, we uh, put something out there, and the powers that be thought that it was um, it was egregious of us to put some things out there that they wasn't uh, they didn't want us to do. Oh, are you talking about Miramax? So you know, I, there's a passage that I kind of memorized to kind of fix this. Uh, situation. Ezekiel 25, 17. The path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the iniquities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. Blessed is he who in the name of the Father shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness, but he is truly his brother's keeper and the finder of lost children. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and control my brothers. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee. No! <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite part. That's That's favorite pretty part. good. Yeah. Fuck you, Miramax. Well, JB. <laughs> <laughs> It's just surprising. <laughs> I, I'm very surprised by what happened. By the way, I am not Ralphie D. <laughs> this is a uh, Star Lord saying, uh, "Fuck you, Miramax." <laughs> and I'm Deadpool, definitely saying, "Fuck you, Miramax." <laughs> take two and call me in the morning. Uh, bitch. I would like to leave a message with Miramax. Please take all complaints about our show, write it down on a piece of paper, roll it up real tight, and shove it up your ass. Boom! And that's the bottom line. <laughs> the show told says so. <laughs> Alright, I think we can get checked all the boxes on that one. Ah, uh, uh, Adonis, pull yourself together.